Hello, this is Audrey Weidman, and this is day six of the heart health um, education that I want to do because I've been a heart attack survivor, and it's something I don't want to have happen to you. If you are a heart attack survivor, uh, knowledge is power, and I'm hoping that um, a lot of what I'm sharing will help you. Now, one of the things I wanted to say is, um, I, I guess my philosophy is that I really try to be holistic. I don't want to take drugs unless I absolutely have to. Um, but there is a balance of like, I guess where I end up is that drugs, pharmaceutical drugs generally tend to have side effects and they can be quite nasty. Whereas um, if you try to approach it from a holistic standpoint, um, like with food and supplements, there are only good side effects. And that's um, like, for example, if you take fish oil for, uh, to improve your cholesterol, you know what? It doesn't just improve your cholesterol. It helps your joint flexibility. It helps your hair, skin, and nails. And those are the kinds of side effects that I'm looking for. But what I wanted to say is how I really got into learning more about how to treat myself holistically is about a year and a half ago I went to um, uh, a doctor just for my annual health uh, checkup and what I needed to do was to um, get the blood work done and it showed that I had high cholesterol and she started to take uh, talk about statins and I said I really want to do everything I can to avoid being on statins uh, because statins also have a whole host of side effects. Um, and uh, so in the office that I work with, uh, the, the doctor that I go to, there's a holistic side and I saw a naturopathic doctor for the first time ever. And um, what she did, the first thing she did was to prescribe the Boston Heart Test. The Boston Heart Test um, will take uh, your, like you probably have heard of HDL, that's the, the kind of cholesterol you want to have high. LDL is the lousy um, cholesterol, and then there are triglycerides. Well, turns out, not surprisingly, your body is a whole lot more complicated than HDL and LDL. There's size of particles and and where the cholesterol comes from. Just a short background on cholesterol. Every, all the cholesterol you need can be made by your liver. Um, but we also absorb cholesterol in our intestines from our food, which is why we have to control what we eat. Um, and sometimes people can absorb too much cholesterol from their food. I'm one of them. Also, you can have um, in a genetic propensity to make too much bad cholesterol or inflammatory cholesterol or different size cholesterol in your liver and I make some of that bad cholesterol as well and that's genetic and there's, um, you know, that's just the facts and I think knowledge is power. But I will tell you that everyone can change uh, what they eat and uh, make a difference in terms of how much cholesterol is absorbed. And the cholesterol that is absorbed by your intestine, if the food spends less time in the intestine, guess what? You're not going to have as much um, cholesterol then absorbed into your blood. So what does that mean? Just kind of real bluntly is you got to keep your pipes clean. You've got to have a lot of fiber. You've got to drink a lot of water. And um, you need to put the right things in your mouth so that you're not uh, like avoid like a lot of the fatty red meat and animal products. Um, and I would say that I do eat a lot of fish and chicken. I do eat some red meat. I'm just careful that it's lean. And I eat an awful lot of fiber, and the side effects are wonderful there too. It supports a wonderful um, uh, gut biome so that you're, you're healthy, your gut population is good, you're, um, you're creating um, 
I mean, you don't get impacted. You are lighter because you don't carry around a lot of uh, <clears throat> extra stuff in your intestines. You're constantly, you know, cleaning it out, and that's great. So I wanted to show you a little bit. I'm going to flip the um, the. I'm going to switch this over here. Um, this is what the Boston heart test looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's reverse. So let me switch right here. This is the Boston heart test and what it looks like. And the um, results are very fascinating here. Uh, for myself, I have, um, it, it kind of goes through in a very simplistic way. Uh, it showed that, that my lipids were not that great. And this was from like a year and a half ago. And that I had a, quite a lot of uh, arterial inflammation. But my metabolic, so I'm not at risk for diabetes because if you have diabetes, you've also increased your risk for heart disease. And then genetics, I have kind of a, a mixed bag, not terrible, <clears throat> but not great. And over the course of um, probably six months, I changed quite a lot of this. Um, over here, the lipids I had went into the green category. Inflammation went down into the um, yellow category, stayed green, and uh, the genetic part, just that part does not change. But um, what it can t tell you is like specifically the c types of cholesterol that you have too much of. I have too many uh, numbers of the bad LDL particles. I have um, a really high amount of inherited bad kind of cholesterol. So it was, you know, that's really good to know. And then um, also I tend to absorb too much cholesterol. See, it's all in the yellow area. I absorb too much from my food. And um, I have an inflammation marker that's really pretty high. Um, but uh, my naturopath could prescribe different things um, for me to do here. Um, and she prescribed like specific supplements that address this. Um, I'm on um, fish oil, probiotics, a lot of fiber. Um, I'm on CoQ10. And uh, I have a lot of um, magnesium. Magnesium uh, is the, the um, I guess, ion that kind of relaxes the blood vessels. And um, magnesium is needed to relax, whereas calcium contracts the muscle. So for anybody who has high blood pressure, magnesium is really awesome. Um, but what I would say to you, based on this more in-depth uh, Diet blood work panel that you can get with the Boston Heart Test, you are empowered with that information. You don't just have to automatically get put on statins. Um, by specifically targeting areas, you know what supplements you can take that will affect it. And I did really change the profile of my cholesterol panel. Unfortunately, I still did get a heart attack, but I think it could have been a lot more catastrophic had I not been so careful with what I did. So my wish for you is to really check out your blood work. Um, it will tell a lot about, you know, your blood won't lie. You'll know what to do and hopefully you'll want to do that in order to have really great health. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Bye.